Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is an announcement video for March 2nd, 2017. This might be the closest I've had to announcement videos, but you know, there's a reason. So, I, a few days ago, asked about Patreon, and the, the feedback was overwhelmingly positive. I mean, completely positive. Uh, there wasn't no negative. I don't know, someone mentioned that, like, I, I think you're overthinking things, and you, he, he's right, I, I do overthink things, I don't know what I thought people were going to say. It's just, when I started, the idea of, like, something like Patreon, uh, also, I don't know what to say Patreon or Patreon, I've heard both, I'm just going to say Patreon, uh, it was it was a lot different, like, people call it, like, e-begging and stuff like that, it's just the culture has changed, people understand now that how, like, content that you generally give away from free, like, can, the only way it can generate money is by the generate the generosity of other people. So I also realized that not everyone knows what in hell Patreon is. I just assume. There's just certain things you assume sometimes. Patreon is basically a site where artists can put up their project and people can donate money to them. It's like paying a voluntary monthly donation to that artist. And that's all it is. You just use a credit card or PayPal, and you donate a certain amount, and then that certain amount will be automatically deducted from your account until you say it's not. And you can say it's not immediately. Uh, I think this is... I, I See, uh, never mind. I'm not going to think. I'm going to actually look up and see what the answer is here. So you sign up for the Patreon. You say how much you want to donate. And then on the first of next month is when you get charged, so you don't get charged at all until that date. Which is actually slightly different than how I thought it was. I thought that you got charged initially the second you signed up, and then you got charged on the first, but apparently that's not how it works. So I only have three rewards for these tiers. The first tier is just, you know, thanks, your, your Patreon, that's one dollar a month. And I just want to point out, if you're using Adblock on my videos, if you pay one dollar that'll that'll account for like a thousand views like pretty much most people that will account for more money than they would have given me uh during their entire time that they're watching my content there are some people that have watched so many of my videos that that's not the case but they're they're the, i would say the majority probably don't watch like hundreds of my videos so that would that would just that would give me more money right there not that i'm encouraging ad block but i get it i get that the internet's a much nicer place it's just, you know, someday I wonder that so many people are going to be using Adblock that Google's just going to, like, shut down weirdly. Well, not Google, but, you know, YouTube. Apparently YouTube's not even profitable. Did you know that? I've looked at articles of this. It actually loses a little bit of money each year, so. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have bought it, Google. I'm sure there's some. I'm sure there's other reasons to have it besides just the raw profit as far as marketing power. In any case, the second tier is a $3 tier. If you pledge $3 a month, then you can see my videos early. So there are different feeds I can post on Patreon that only certain tiers can see. I can make it so that everyone above $3 a month can see links to my videos early. It's possible these videos won't have full descriptions, but, you know, I mean, Plants vs. Zombies is super backlogged right now. That's a lot of videos that are up that I'm just trying to release slowly. Because if I release them all at once, there would be gigantic gaps in my content. That's why I backlog. Because sometimes I can't record anything for, like, half a week longer. So that's the reason for that. But if you pay extra, you can watch it. The only issue with that is that, like like I just said, if you watch all of Plants vs. Zombies, then there might be a gigantic gap in when you get to see Plants vs. Zombies. So not really, really, because I guess I'm going to keep on uploading them in the background. So it just might be some weird gaps. So just be warned for that. But that's available. My Facebook people will still likely get to see the first episode of my new LPs a little bit earlier than other people. That's still a feature of just signing up to my Facebook. I generally, I mean, it it's usually hasn't been more than a week, but and usually it's not much more than like a day earlier, but that's something going for my Facebook. All right, and the final bracket is 10. I'm going to make an end slate or a credit card for my videos now, st uh, showing my patrons that have posted over $10. I haven't exactly figured out how to do this. I could design a really nice background thing. Or I was thinking I could just, like, personally write it on paper and take a picture of it. Because then I could, like, draw little pictures. I don't know. I could change it each time. <laughs> I have to decide. I'm just, I'm a bit worried that it might look a little bit junky if I, if I draw it. But I think I might try it that way one time and see what people think. Um, I mean, I'm not expecting a lot of people to donate, like, $10 a month. But that's that. Uh, 
Yeah, it, it's a voluntary donation thing that, that charges you at the end of the month. That's all it is. And as I mentioned last video, a, a large reason that I'm doing this, besides the fact that it's just harder to, to justify the amount of time, and that's because the amount of money that I make from YouTube now is almost nothing. It is one-fourth of what I made previously. The payout that I got this month for January, for example, and January is always the lowest month, but it was the lowest I've ever gotten, and last January was the lowest I ever gotten, so it's just getting less and less and less. So unless I do something, it'll be this will be like strictly a hobby and have no bearing on my ability to, to like live, which if that happens, it happens. It's practically been happening for the last few months. But if I ever get into any situation where I need to start looking for another job, I'm going to have to stop this. And unfortunately, even with the Patreon, that might happen a little bit. I'll, uh, it'll just severely slow down my content. I don't think I'm going to stop entirely no matter what. I don't want to say no matter what. Ooh, let's not get into that hole. You know, this this is still what I do for fun. It's just a very time-consuming hobby. And I mean, like, I, I was, like, yesterday... I was going to release this video yesterday, but I was not in the mood to do it because I was in a situation where I could have lost my job yesterday. <laughs> because, it's like, my job is a thing where, like, it's, like, at the end of every month... Or every... All of your, all of your performance is reviewed. It's like taking a test every month. And if you fail that test, you can get fired. Now, for the first time in three years, yesterday, I failed one of the parts of the test, which is sucks. One of the parts I did really well on, one of the parts I failed just because I got something wrong, the same concept wrong, like, five times, and that was enough to fail me. Just by coincidence, uh, that's just how it laid that time. And if that happens again in the next three months, I will lose my job. So, I, I, I'm already thinking in my head, I don't have a backup plan. I need to start practicing design again. I need to do something just in case this happens. Because this, this is how this was. My job, I'm an independent contractor. Even if I don't do anything wrong, I can be fired at any time. That is literally in my contract. They don't even need a reason. They could just fire me. They could just... Because it's like when you're an independent contractor, in a weird way, it's almost like you're not even working from them. It's, you're not even an employee. You're just kind of someone who's helping them out for money. It's like... If you're mowing someone's lawn, you're kind of an independent contractor. It's kind of like that deal. And at any time, they could be like, no, don't want it anymore. So, yeah, it, it, it was stressful yesterday, but I'm excited to do this, even though it was delayed a little bit. And there are people that expressed a desire to help me out, which is I, I really appreciate. I, I, I really appreciated the comments in the last video. It laid a lot of my fears. I especially liked this comment. I mean, it is good to know that even evil villains like my content, but, uh... Ooh, I don't know what I did to attract that. Also, I'm sending the man to get you out, so don't you worry. Anyway, I think that's all I had to say. The link to my Patreon is in the description. I'm also going to add it to my channel. There's also links to my Facebook and my Twitter. The Twitter, you know, good for my random musings about my channel. And also, you know, sometimes I post, like, deals there, but very rarely. I guess I've done that twice ever, so I should just say sometimes. But, and the Facebook page is almost never updated, but that's basically just for the first episodes of my LPs. And if something completely major happens. I, I was going to make it also for the last episodes of my LPs. Maybe I should start doing that since I just post so infrequently. But in any case, thank you very much for any interest. Do not feel obligated to donate Obviously, I'm I'm not really able to support patrons. I used to like put a dollar or two every month, and that was from my game fund. And now I'm not doing that currently. I I might start doing that again. There's one or two people I do want to support, but that's that. Also, the game you are seeing in the background is called Downwell. I don't think I'm gonna let's play it. it I mean, it's like Binding of Isaac if you just went down a lot. And I've never beaten it, but I do have a entire live stream of me playing it to Drive Not Found. So if you want to see that, that'll be a link in the description. We'll go to the Drive Not Found YouTube page, and then you can actually watch me make commentary on this game if you were so interested in it. Uh, if you are interested in me seeing, like, doing a video or two on this, tell me, and I will try to do that. But, you know, otherwise, I think it's just good for background. And the video footage that I recorded for this is actually longer than my announcement, so I think I'm just going to, like, kind of let it run, because why not? So, yeah, that'll be that. There won't be any more words 
in this, but if you want to see me play the rest of Downwell, keep on watching. And if you want to see me even play more Rider Will, I, I did just check. It is definitely on Drive Not Found. Link in the description for that. Okay. Uh, thank you for your support. Even if it's not Patreon support, this channel only exists because people are watching it and it encourages me to keep on going. So that's that, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.